and happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah's past, or I would say happy Hanukkah, uh, and whatever other holidays, happy Kwanzaa. Uh, hope everybody's having a great holiday season. I am excited. I've got all sorts of stuff to open. You can see the stack there, and it's going to be a fun live stream. Well, and right as I start, hey, the tornado sirens went off. No, we don't have a tornado. It's just a test, but great time. Um, as you, some of you can see, poor Lenny, um, <laughs> uh, I do have a new sort of moderator on the chat named Nightbot. He is an automated moderator, so he's kind of a test thing. Um, so we're going to kind of see how he works out here. Uh, it's because it's awfully hard for me to watch the whole chat and moderate at the same time as I'm doing everything. And my kids can't always be here. So we will give it a shot here and try him out. So, um, travel and train guy. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello. Really again. Yep. So hello everybody and Matt and, uh, Wills and Jenny and Eric. And uh, so good to see all of you. Um, I'm happy you're able to join me. Now, I do want to remind you, I've actually got two live streams today. This is the first one that everybody will be able to watch later. I've got the mail call with this huge old stack of stuff that we will be opening up and various other things I'll be talking about on the channel. After I am all done on this one, 30 minutes later, there will be another live stream that you're only going to be able to watch live. So if you're watching this archive later, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. Uh, that is because it, I'm actually going to be talking about some of the secret stories that I haven't talked about before and behind the scenes. So if you're looking for that one, that's not this live stream yet, but hold on and it will be coming up after this one. So from now, about 90 minutes is about what I am thinking. Um, let's see. Hi, Craig and everybody else. Um, <laughs> Actually, not everybody has a live bot, uh, Raiden. It's actually uh, new to me, so I'm still testing him out. I haven't fully configured him, so hopefully he will work. Um, I do want to give a special shout out to Annalise, also known as Little Bucket. She will know who she is. Uh, had a wonderful conversation with a couple of her family members and really excited because I found out her birthday is on the same day that I am doing my meet and greet at Disney Springs, February 23rd. So, this is kind of my reminder for those of you going, when are you coming back to Disney? When are you doing a meet and greet? February 23rd. It is a Saturday, and I will be at Disney Springs in the morning. Probably about 10 or 11 o'clock is when we will schedule it. Um, I'm guessing right now we will probably also do it at the same place that we did last time I had a meet and greet down there. And that will be down by the old Cirque du Soleil box office. Because it's kind of a quiet area, and that way we can take our time and... Uh, not have to worry about interrupting or getting in the way of other things. So, um, what did I just say? This live stream, Lucy, is going to be about 60 minutes. After this one is done, 30 minutes after that, approximately, I will then start the next live stream. That gives me time to get a drink and rest up my mouth and everything else. Um, and that one, we don't know. What is a night bot? A night bot is an automated moderator. It is actually a bot. So it moderates the chat. It watches what you say and how you say it and what's going on. And it may put you on timeout if you are saying things it deems inappropriate. So hopefully nobody will run into it. Um, I'm not actually even sure, Lenny, what you did to do it. But um, hi, Thomas from Estonia. Good to see you. Um, and hopefully it will work out and we'll keep an eye on Nightbot as well. And if it starts throwing some weird stuff up, well, then we will know that we will need to uh, deal with it a little bit, <laughs> which I expected to need some fine tuning. Um, also, one quick thing for everybody who's watching. Um, one thing I want to remind everybody is that I am always looking for video ideas. So please, if you've got an idea or a suggestion for a video, please don't hesitate to send it to me, whether through Reddit, through Facebook. Um, chat messages on YouTube sometimes are good, but I don't always catch those. So Facebook or email, sirwillow at gmail.com or uh, Reddit are great places to suggest ideas for videos. It doesn't mean I can always use them, but if it's something I can use and work with or even build from, I'd love to have them. A lot of times you guys think of things I have never thought of. And I, in fact, I actually got a couple great ideas in this last week. I was like, oh, gee, why didn't I ever think of that? 
So uh, don't ever hesitate. If you got an idea or a suggestion or just a question, throw it at me, and um, I would love to be able to try and use it if I can. Let's see. Can I check in? Okay, y'all are talking about Nightbot here. Hi, Craig. So happy you love the videos. Do more food videos. Um, there's actually, anytime I'm down there, if I experience something new to eat, John, I will. We tried to catch most of the restaurants in this last trip, but we don't usually get to eat at the neat, um, at most of the higher places at Disney just because of our budget. Uh, could I do a reenactment of the train at SDC? I've actually, Stephanie, uploaded a couple of the actual robberies. Um, in fact, there are a couple that I am in. So I don't necessarily need to reenact that one because they're still doing the robberies, whereas Rhino Rally is now gone. Um, uh, if I did a reenactment, I want to do it with a couple of the guys I used to rob with, and we're already all kind of scattered. So it would be tough to do in that one because, again, they still do it. I don't know how they would play with non-disclosures and other things either. Uh, but it might be fun to do at some point. Um, idea video my predictions for the 50th birthday of Walt Disney World. They've actually announced most of them already. So <laughs> um, do an ornament video. Give me details on what you're thinking about with that, Josh. I don't know if I could do it for this holiday season, but maybe for next one. Um, and we'll talk more about the possible train reenactment, too. There's something in my work I just don't don't know if I, that one would work as well as the Rhino Rally one did. Um, as you can see, I've got this huge sack of mail here. What? Am I bleeding? Huh. Wow, that's always nice. Hey, look, I can see myself on screen and I get a little scratch. I don't know what that's from. Anyway, <laughs> If it starts dripping, guys, tell me. I'm sorry, I know that's gross. Just want tissue, honey. Nope, I'm good. My wife's over here already trying to take care of me, going, Do you need tissue? No, I'm fine. Uh, let me open up a little bit of this mail. My wife is getting ready to head out the door, so I want to make sure I get a couple of these things that she's in. Hi, Heather. Good to see you. Uh, the first one I want to open is from Rachel Dunn, and this actually arrived right after my last live stream, so we just missed it. But I want to open it up here. Uh, because it's got my wife's name on it. And make sure that my wife doesn't miss something that she wants to see. Let's see if I can get this open. Ooh, we got a couple little bracelets there. So you can see those. That actually looks neat. It says, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Dear Burnash family, hope you all have a Merry Christmas and Blessed New Year. The yarn bracelet is for Lady Willow and the other one is for your daughter. Okay, so from Rachel D. And my wife is now stepping over so she can say hi. So that one, dear, is yours. Hi. And then that one would be for Amber. Thank you so much. It's very sweet. <laughs> so. And then I've got one other card here. So that was Rachel Dunn, and now we have Rochelle Mullen, too. This is also has Margaret's name on it, so you can't quite leave yet. And then we'll let her go because she's got to get the church already. Oh, this is a pretty card. Messiah, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Blessed and Happy New Year. That's a pretty card. Very sweet. Very sweet. I still got to get all the cards put up on the door. <laughs> get my Christmas card tree done. Um, let's see. Uh, like to see a video on disabled facilities. I have done, actually, a couple things dealing with that, uh, Gordon. Um, again, don't... Give me the ideas in the chat, but then later on, send me a copy of it. Uh, I had, because of my photographer job, I didn't really deal with disabled facilities much at Disney. I just took pictures. Uh, but I can definitely talk a little bit about it. So, um, let's see. But yeah, I, I, there are some things I can definitely talk about that way. Uh, what do I think of the new live-action Aladdin movie? I'm not sure yet. I need to do a reaction video on that one. I definitely do. So, um, and you got three people... Uh, yeah, three people, dear, saying that they love your shirt. Oh. So let's see. A couple of postcards here. This is from Barry. Hi, I'm heading to Orlando on December 1st and 2nd. Yeah, you can tell this is from end of November. Um, to meet to meet friends. Then on December 2nd, I will be Epcot and Mickey's very much party. Look for more soon. And I do have a little stack of stuff here from Barry, including this one. Oh, this is kind of a neat looking card. Some of you will absolutely love that. Hi, I'm in Orlando this weekend. Today I went to Universal to meet some friends from a video, let's see, whoop, from a Universal Facebook group. We had lunch at Margaritaville, then we checked out the Christmas events at Grinchmas and the Holiday Parade. We also went to went on some rides. 
Tomorrow, Epcot. I do miss Grinchmas. Grinchmas at Universal was really fun. It was just a blast. And especially if you get a good interaction with the Grinch going, and we, we'd sit there and tease each other. So I got two more here from Barry. And then I got, like I said, a whole stack. You can see I grabbed a, f I grabbed a few cards. There's still more there. I've got three boxes and a big padded envelope. Uh, let's see. Hi, today. I spent half day at Epcot and rode some rides and worked on your birthday present. Uh-oh. <laughs> and rode some rides. What is your present, you ask? You will find out in January. Let's see. Also, have breakfast at the Garden Grill. So, yes, my birthday is in January, for those wondering. In fact, last year, I was actually flying down to Disney on my birthday. So, there's a big hint if you want to know what day. But China Pavilion, I used to take a lot of pictures there. And then Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> Let's see. I uh, went to Mary, Mary, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, rode some rides, and went to the Jungle Cruise, ate some cookies. Oh, I love the cookies at the Christmas party. Uh, they Actually, every now and then, they would put some of the cookies in the break rooms for the cast members. Oh, those are good. Let's see. Also saw the, um, saw the stage show, Holiday Wishes Fireworks, and the Very Merry Christmas Parade. Uh, this event was not as good as Mickey's Not So Scary, but I had fun. The neat thing with the Mickey's Christmas... If you are insane and crazy enough to go the week of Christmas, most of the stuff they do at the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, they will actually do during regular park hours, the, starting the weekend before Christmas and go through Christmas or so. So it's um, you can see it without going to the party, but it's a little crazy. Let's see. Oh, so we got a couple other people in January. Nobody else with the same day as mine yet, but... Uh, let's see, a card from Pink Pearl. And I got to tell you, I love all the fan mail. I love these cards. Y'all bless me so much. Christmas is an easy time of year for me to get caught up in dumb emotions because, especially as a pastor, it's very busy, very hard, and you don't always see a whole lot uh, of return from it. So so this is wonderful. You, you all very much encourage me. That is a neat card. A couple of my favorites, Chip and Dale. I'm Chip. I'm Dale. And of course, it's also got a big message in the back. Happy Holidays. If I could pick any of my Disney collection I couldn't, I would not want to live without, what would it be? Ooh. Ooh. I'll have to think about that one. Let's see. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy 2019. Pink, per, Pink Pearl. Hope you guys have a blessed holiday. Feliz Natal and Feliz Navidad. Season's greetings. Very neat. So you can see she's got Several holidays there. Uh, let's see. Have I ever been to Disneyland tinkering? I actually grew up in California. Uh, first time I went to Disneyland was 1979 or 80 or so. I uh, took my kids to Disneyland on, right after 9-11, so look for that video because I do tell that story. And I'm actually going to Disneyland next year. It is confirmed just about. We still have some things to work out. But right now it's looking like October of next year. I'm going back for the first time in years. But I still love Disneyland stuff. So, uh, it's good. Let's see. It will have been 15 years, I think, since I've been to Disneyland. Attraction CM. Yay! What attraction? I gotta know. Uh, Christmas is hard for me. Christmas is hard for a lot of people. It, it really is. Uh, let's see. Shh. Happy holidays, Elizabeth. Wasn't happy with the Disney photographers. I only saw two. Ooh. Joy, I would love to know more details about that and where you went. Did you see characters? Although they're changing that. A lot of the characters now, they've got automated cameras. I did a whole video about that. Not happy. Um, but they should have been out all along your entrance streets and at major locations getting pictures that way. So I would definitely send a note if you only saw two. Say where you saw them and where you didn't see them. So will I ever get a join button on my channel? Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean by a join button there, Wills. So I don't know. Gordon, I'm so sorry on the loss of your dad. Um, I really am. Let's see. Uh, Zach Harris sent me this card. It says, Christmas brings hope for peace to all the earth. May the simple peace of Christmas be everywhere in your world. To Sir Willow and family, may this card find you all doing well. Merry Christmas from Zach Harris. Thank you so much, Zach. Are you trying to hit up DCA? Actually, Drew, we will be there for several days. Uh, right now, the plan is for like five or six days in Southern California. So uh, early, early plans are at least a couple days at Disneyland itself and a day at California Adventure, and we will see on the rest. Uh, that very easily could become more. 
Let's see. In fact, speaking about Drew, look, Drew, it's a card from you. Hide your address there. <laughs> Tammy, they grow up quick. Hold on to them. The wise still seek them. That is a pretty card. Ooh, I like that. May the gift of his love bring you joy this Christmas season and throughout. Let's see. Um, was it the Sioux Falls Stampede game? The game had to go into overtime. It was a great game. Small crowd. Got my Christmas shopping done. That's always nice to get shopping done early. And then that's the inside of the card. That's a pretty card. Yeah, ad hoc character meet and greets. Um, usually don't have one. If it's a spontaneous one that they kind of put together at the last minute, especially during busy holiday seasons, they may not have a photographer. But, uh, Wills, your profile picture for me is about this big, so it's hard for me to see. <laughs> Definitely going to enjoy Cars Land. I am looking forward to that. Let's see. This one is from uh, Kathleen and Leah in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Season's greetings from Canada. That's a cool looking card. Holiday wishes don't come any warmer than these. Ho happy holidays and happy new year. All the best for 2019. Have a good trip to Disney World. Keep the videos coming. My sister and I enjoy watching them. So thank you so much, Kathleen and Leah. There's the inside of the card. Not Scary Farm will be up in October, and that's actually one thing I'm thinking about here. I am not into the horror nights and scares and stuff like that, but I haven't been to Knott's Berry Farm in many, many years. Um, and same thing, Universal in Hollywood's actually been even longer. So I'm debating about going and then leaving before the Halloween stuff really gets going. I don't know. Like, so we're looking almost a year away. So who knows what's going to happen. Hi, Lion Blade. <laughs> Profile pictures you in a trash can. That's kind of funny. Uh, Tron looks like it's going to be excellent, Road Agent. It really does. This is a big envelope from Barry. Uh, it feels like it's definitely got a few things in there. And then I got some other cards. And look, the Tron ride actually looks like it's going to be amazing. They have the train right now rerouted because they've got some of the tracks torn up. In fact, the train at Disney, well, at Magic Kingdom is not running at all. I've had some people know, well, why don't they just run it in reverse? Because the section of track they had to pull up actually is where the train comes into the park and just afterwards. So there's no way they really could run it. They can't even really get it into the park safely. So, uh, let's see. Anyone here went on, want an Indiana Jones ride secret adventure land attractions? Yeah, Tinkering Disney Magic, you got me wondering what you're referring to. What's the secret? Hmm. Okay, so let's see everything that's in this envelope from Barry here. Oh, this is looking kind of cool. Sir Willow, here are some maps I picked up for you while I was at Universal and Disney. Enjoy. These are the Christmas things, which I love. Epcot, anytime they do a special festival, it has this nice little guidebook. And they've been different sizes over the years. So this is, it's got stickers inside and... Um, all sorts of different little adventures you can check out in the parks. So, and Chippendale in the back. And then there is a Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party brochure at Magic Kingdom. Epcot's International Festival of the Holidays, which if you watched my favorite parks at Christmas, this was the number two thing I loved. Uh, just really neat stuff at Epcot during Christmas. A regular Magic Kingdom guide map. And there is the Universal one with Fast and Furious, which I've heard very mixed reviews on. John Vidal has not heard about Tron. Uh, if you have seen video at all of the Tron roller coaster at Shanghai Disney, they are bringing it to Magic Kingdom. It's supposed to open in 22, I believe. And it's going to go um, kind of back behind where the Indy Speedway is in an unused section there. Uh, it, it looks absolutely amazing. Let's see. Traveling a couple. Uh... Yeah, let's see. Traveling a couple disabled folks. I'm reading Joy Zimmerman's comment here. Couldn't have your cell phones out all the time. Been so much easier to have Disney take photos. Wow. Yeah, Joy, I would definitely write. And especially if you were seeing characters and there were not photographers there. Definitely write. That's been one of my beefs. Um, I hate the fact they're replacing photographers with boxes. Boxes do not do the same thing. It's terrible. So please, Joy Wright, uh, you can actually, you can tweet them. It's at WDW Today is their Twitter account, so you can tag them in a tweet. 
But then write an email to Guest Relations, and I don't have that email address with me offhand, but it is definitely there. So as I'm opening these two, um, be watching Christmas Eve. I will have a video from Silver Dollar City posted up. We were actually there yesterday and had a lot of fun. So what is my favorite park at Disney World and why? It's whichever one I'm in because that's the one I'm enjoying at the moment. I really can't pick a favorite on that engine. <laughs> Let's see. This is another card from Barry. Christmas wish for extra special you. Hope you find surprises underneath your Christmas tree that make you smile and make you feel as happy as can be. Merry Christmas. Neat card. And, of course, there's Minnie decorating the tree. Um, but for me, favorites like picking out a specific thing, like a specific park, is very difficult because my moods fluctuate and waver. And so there will be different things I like at different times. And I it really enjoyed all of the Disney parks. So it depends upon what I want to do. Lion Blade, do I do a lot of mail videos? I typically do one a month. Um, I've done two in December because with Christmas there's lots of cards as you can see. But normally it's one a month and it's also kind of a question answer and various other things. So, um, heard rumors that the Pandora Rides might be getting an update after the new movie comes out. Lots of rumors about that, Gordon, but nothing that seems to have any actual substance to it. And I can't, at this point, as busy as they still are, they're not going to close those things for any period of time if they don't have to. There's no reason to update them right now, but we'll see down the road. So, uh, Can you use that tweeting service and guest relations for the hearing loop suggestion? As long as you can fit it into a tweet, yes, but that's probably going to be better for um, an email. The, the tweet, the Twitter service uh, for at WDW today is wonderful if you're at Disney. If you want to give a cast compliment, uh, just tag it, hashtag cast compliment. Fantastic way to be able to bless the cast members who blessed you. It is good for making quick suggestions, asking quick questions, and interaction. But keep in mind, because Twitter is short messages, it's hard to do anything in depth. If you're wanting suggestions and stuff like that, send it uh, via email to guest services. And Eric just posted the email address. Thank you so much, Eric. That is really what you want to send those kinds of things to. Um, also, keep in mind, if you're throwing in suggestions, especially for people who like to put in ride ideas and stuff, if you send it to Disney, they're going to claim it as theirs and you're not going to get any credit or anything for it. So, This is from the Clumsy Jedi. Now, if you have not checked out the Clumsy Jedi's channel, definitely check her out. She is a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy her videos. I don't get to compliment on her videos as much as I would like to, but uh, fun channel. So Clumsy Jedi, and she's got oh a very neat homemade card. There you go, Jedi Mickey. He would go right along with him. <laughs> she writes, Hey, Sir Willow, I've been falling behind on your recent videos, but you know how that just happens sometimes. Yep. Hoping to get caught up soon. Merry Christmas, and may your whole family be blessed this holiday season. Have a wonderful 2019, the Clumsy Jedi. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Um, heard about an Indiana Jones land that might be built. Don't count on that one, Gordon. I think that's somebody's wishful dreaming. Yeah, I saw that and... It, no. Not going to happen, unfortunately. They are um, too out of date at this point. Let's see. This is from the Newmans in Salt Lake City, Utah. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the earth no crowds were expecting that, hum that one humble birth. Could set into motion a marvelous plan our Savior God is with us, the true hope of man. That's pretty. Uh, celebrating Jesus, the miracle gift of Christmas. May all the joys of the season be yours, the Newmans. Thank you so much. That's nice. Water Parks Review. Actually, you know what, Drew? Send me an email on that because I keep forgetting that. Um, we definitely went to both water parks. I've got a bunch of pictures of Blizzard Beach that I can use. Um, and I just never seem to think about that. Uh, so, yes, definitely send me an email on that one or post it on Facebook or something, Drew, so I can remember the water parks because I do want to touch those. Um, we used to have fun at Disney at the water parks. Here's a little story for you. Because we were in Florida living there and I was youth pastoring, we would get these Christmas bonuses that allowed us to take people into the parks free at certain times. Normally, a regular cast member can't get into the water parks free. But with the holiday package, you could with extra guests. And so we took our whole youth group to Blizzard Beach in January and didn't have to pay to get in. 
it was probably about 65 degrees outside, but the water is heated, so it was warmer in the water than out. We had a blast. So, yeah, Disney, the one place you can go to a water park in January. <laughs> Emmett, you were at Silver Dollar City yesterday? So was I. I wish I'd known you were there. I would have tried to say hi. In fact, I did run into uh, one person, and goodness, I'm going blank on names. Old man moment, sorry. Uh, but I did run into one viewer, and I wish I'd had a chance and been able to spend more time. We were kind of on our way down towards one of the shows. Uh, but Silver Dollar City at Christmas is fantastic. So again, watch for the video Saturday. And for my one, um, Brian, there it is. I'm so sorry. I didn't even, th I realized after we walked away, I didn't even get a picture. <laughs> I, I spaced out. In fact, I was so off yesterday. I got to the park, pulled out my camera bag, was getting ready to take pictures and realized I left all my memory cards at home. So I had two cameras with me that couldn't take any photos or video at all. They didn't sell video cards at the park. I'm going, oh my goodness. And then when my phone started to run down on charge, pulled out my battery charger and realized I had the wrong cable for it. I was off yesterday. <laughs> Let's see, this is um, Alan Reynolds from Idaho. It's Santa Claus. Let's see. Um... It's Christmas time all throughout the land. Here's hoping yours is a wonderful and grand. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys. I hope 2019 treats you well. Thank you so much, Alan. Uh, Angie, is it okay to talk to Minnie, Mickey, Donald, Daisy, Clarabelle, and Goofy about being parents? Well, the only one there that's a parent is Goofy, and that's his son, Max. So you can talk about Max. Donald and Mickey are uncles. They've got nephews. Uh, so you can talk to them about their nephews. Um... However, I would not suggest anything about parenting to them because it's probably a good idea for them to get married first and they're not married. And I can tell you, Donald and Mickey both, they don't necessarily like getting prodded too much about that. So ask him about the nephews, ask Goofy about Max, but trying to push them into a relationship that they're not ready for, it doesn't always go over real well. <laughs> so, oops on the cards. And, oh, yeah. I, I, I felt so dumb, Craig. I was just... I, I And then I had this backpack with all this camera gear I couldn't use. I was like... Ugh. But it gave me something to carry around all our gloves and stuff. This is another one from Drew. So, nice envelope here. Oh! Oh, Drew's blessed me here. Very pretty card. It says, Rejoice. That's, that's just a nice picture. See, I'm going to take all these cards and stick them up on my door... Uh, probably later today. May all the blessings of Christmas fill your heart and home with joy. And this one doesn't have a picture inside. It's just that. But it did have something else inside. Culver's. And I do like Culver's. So roast beef dinner at Culver's is awesome. So thank you so much, Drew. We will definitely make use of that. I'm going to stick it right there so I don't lose it. Thank you, Drew. I've got four more cards. And then we'll be able to start attacking all the packages. Oh, hey, Crazy Chill, you made it! Yay! How are we doing time-wise, too? I need to double-check, make sure I don't ramble on too long. Um, and it's not telling me my time length. <laughs> okay. Usually I can look over the one page and it'll tell me how long I've been streaming, and it's not telling me nothing. Oh, hopefully. Well, of course, if I looked at the clock, duh. Evie... <laughs> You know, this is the terrible thing about getting older, is you sit there halfway through what you're doing sometimes and completely forget what you're doing. <laughs> Anybody else out there have that problem? Here's one more from Drew, and then I've got, let's see, one from Barry, one from the Davies, one from Stephanie Burgess, all coming up, and then these other packages. And looking for other questions from you guys as well. Um... Craig, how far is it between Silver Dollar City and Worlds of Fun in Kansas City? You were looking about a three to four hour drive. Uh, be fun to try and do a double park visit in the same day. I'll, I'll be honest, unless you're wanting to just step into the park, I wouldn't. Uh, Silver Dollar City tends to open a little later and close a little earlier than many parks. So if you go in the summer, you can get to Silver Dollar City first, walk in, be there till about noon, so you're looking at like two hours in the park. And then you're having to run out to the parking lot, hop in your car, drive four hours to Kansas City, and 
then you're walking in, you probably have like three hours at Worlds of Fun. For the expense and the cost, and even if you have passes, I wouldn't. I would do maybe one park one day and one the other, but they're too far apart to really make a reasonable uh, one-day trip. So, let's see. Ooh, all sorts of stuff I just got. Hi, Beth, how are you doing? Let's see. Can I take a picture of my card tree once I get it put together? I haven't put it up yet. I've, I've been slacking this year. I didn't even get all my uh, Christmas lights for outside up. Where can you find your mailing address? Lucy, look in the description of all of my videos, and the address is right there. Easy to find. Uh, in fact, I strongly encourage you, check all my video descriptions. If you ever want to know what kind of uh, equipment I use, where the Facebook pages are, the Discord, the Reddit, the merchandise, all that kind of stuff is always in my uh, video descriptions. So it's all there. Plus, I'm forgetting squirrel. Squirrel? Where? There's a squirrel? I don't see a squirrel. I see a dog that's asleep on my chair, but <laughs> she didn't even move. Let's see. Let's see. Have I played? Yes, I have played. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Wills. Have I seen the new Mary Poppins movie yet? Not yet. Uh, we are probably going to go see some movies uh, Christmas Eve. That's kind of a designated movie day because none of us have to work or do anything. And then we will see after that. Um, but hopefully this next week, we've got like five movies we've got to go see. Mary Poppins, um, Aquaman, Bumblebee, uh, the Spider-Man movie my son saw. And I keep hearing that's fantastic. Um, so we've got a bunch to see. Um, George, is it okay to send an e-card for Christmas? Absolutely. Sirwillow at gmail.com. Um, my favorite Disney quote. There's so many wills. <laughs> it's, again, it's one of those things. Ask me my favorite of anything. I don't know because I have too many of all of them. So, you know, even favorite food. Um, let's see. Tacos, pistachios, pizza, Mexican food, steaks, prime, you know, I can't do anything. Pretty card from Drew here. <laughs> Wishing you every joy at this wonderful time of year for you to hold in your heart and then share with your loved ones so dear. Happy holidays from Drew. And there's the inside of that. Two dogs, eight birds, and a cat. I've got two dogs and two cats, and that's all my wife will allow us to have. <laughs> have I played Disneyland Adventures? That one I am not familiar with, Wills. Um, I don't, on, in all honesty, I don't have very much... Uh, time for games if it's something in the park even because my time at the parks has been so limited i've had two trips in eight years it's been trying to catch everything i can and uh this next trip my daughter and i are going to do a couple different things that we haven't been able to do before but you know even that um, we're going to do the keys to the kingdom tour which i'm really excited about uh she she'll finally get to see the utilidors i've talked about but but we don't typically get too much to do extras Let's see, this is from Barry. Oh, this is cute. Is it Christmas yet? I like that. It's adorable. Hope you have the kind of Christmas that makes everything worth the wait. Happy holidays from Barry. That is a cute card, though. Let's see. Going to see Aquaman on December 25th. Christmas present. <laughs> um, we've talked about possibly doing a movie on Christmas, but... My wife and daughter were both like, you know, we don't like making people work on Christmas because we hated when you worked on Christmas. And I was like, yeah, I get that. So. Let's see. Like the video of me and my kids. Which one, John? We've got all sorts of them. <laughs> this is from the Davies in Winston, Georgia. And it is. There we go. Christmas blessings. Celebrating the hope of Christmas and the joy of knowing people like you. Merry Christmas, George. I hope you and your family have a great holiday and wonderful new year. Love, Laura Davies. Hey, Amber, you got to come over here. Let's see here. There was, for you, way down the bottom of these envelopes. Okay, where did I put it? I had a bracelet for you, and you got to pop into the thing and say hi. Yes, yeah, that one right in front of me. Goo. That is for you. It's pretty. And she's getting ready to go to work, so. Thank you. At the Great American Cookie Company in Springfield. Go buy chocolate chip cookies. Better yet, buy M&M cookies. 
I like him in them cookies. Okay, last card before the package is here. This is from Stephanie Burgess in North Carolina. Sorry you're late. How long have I been on? Well, I started at noon, and it's now 1234. Okay. And I know, Michelle, don't feel bad, because I was sitting here trying to figure out how long I'd been on earlier, and I forgot to look at my clock. So <laughs> if my wife can't have gluten, what about dairy? Uh, here's the things my wife cannot have. My wife can't do gluten, which is basically wheat or anything like it. Uh, she cannot do garlic. She can't do peppers. So chili peppers, red and uh, green bell peppers, um, things like that. Those are basically the things she can't do. She can do dairy. She can do meat. Um, she can do most other seasonings. She's not sure about paprika right now. But for the most part, uh, corn is fine. Uh, so if, like Fritos and Cheetos, she can do those. Um, so it's basically breads or anything like it. And be careful with candy. It's amazing how much candy uses flour in it. Uh, like Red Vines Licorice has flour. Why on earth? Uh, but yeah, so dairy is just fine. And she loves cheese. Absolutely loves cheese. Yep. My daughter's over going, can I cook? Yes, you can cook. Cause if you don't know, my kitchen is right there. I mean, just... <laughs> So I'm, I'm in a corner. This should be our dining room, and I've kind of turned it into my office. So if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. That's Thumper, not Bambi. <laughs> Let's see here. Last card, again, from Stephanie Burgess in North Carolina. And then we'll do the boxes after this. That's another cute one. There have been a couple really cute cards. May all your Christmas dreams come true. Dear Sir Willow, I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I have been following your channel for about a year and I am so happy to watch it grow. Please keep up the awesome work. Stephanie. Thank you so much, Stephanie. It, it has really been a neat journey. It really has. Um, 5,000 subs, Will's the King. Congratulations. A binder in licorice. Yeah. Uh, my wife likes licorice and she can't eat it. <laughs> I, I do I do really actually understand why they do put licorice in a lot of candies um, and some other things, but it's still frustrating. Hmm? You said licorice. Yeah, it's in licorice. You said why they put licorice in a lot of candies. Oh, they put licorice in a lot of candies? That's what you just said. Are you saying I'm confused? What kind of kid are you correcting your dad on live stream TV? I mean, gee whiz. Yes, this is the kind of conversation my daughter and I have all the time. Because I say stuff and I go, huh? I didn't say that, did I? Yep. Thanks, Ken. <laughs> All right. Oh, you know what? I got a postcard here I missed. Happy holidays from Barry. Hey, Amber, are you going to keep this this one? Hmm. Is Tinkerbell? She's like, I'm going to work, Dad. I really don't care about anything because I don't want to go to work. I, I get it. How many of you wish you didn't have to go to work? <laughs> Craig says, go, Amber. I think he likes the fact you're picking on me. Don't encourage her, Craig. <laughs> I'm that one in a million that can't stand chocolate. <gasps> Tinkering Disney magic. Okay, now you're really worrying me. Chocolate, sweets, candy, ice cream, and you don't like any of it? Oh, that's terrible. I mean, I love salts too, but, you know, oh, I feel so bad. Livestream TV. Just as, yeah, because if you think about it, mo there's a lot of people that their TV is YouTube now. So, yep, sort of, kind of, I'm trying to excuse myself. Don't pick on me. <laughs> You're retired. That solves the work problem. You know, it's funny, Deb Brown. My dad, when he retired, he's actually busier now than he was before he retired. It's really kind of funny. So this is a box from Barry. And... Let you kind of see it looks sad. I, I love the side of it. It's from Zazzle. <laughs> yeah, let me see if I can get this thing open. He's got it taped up pretty good here. There we go. See these little letter openers? These are wonderful little magic makers. First Saturday off in a while. See, I for years, Saturdays were basically my Fridays. Um, well, and then, of course, you add in church, which I've worked at for a long time. So, so really, um, Monday for me was Saturday, if that makes sense. Yeah, everybody else looks forward to Saturdays. So I look forward to Mondays. <laughs> Let's see. Crazy Chill sent me an email. All right. You're going to make me pop open here because I can't actually look. 
Let's see. Gmail. I mean, since you sent it, I might as well check it out real quick. And. Okay. Ooh, this is kind of fun. 123cards.com. And I got a special code I got to put in. And I should be able to actually show this for everybody here. Okay, let me try and pop this up so that way everybody else can see this. And my silly program is going to be weird on me. Don't do that. You know, every now and then, the program I use, for whatever reason, it gets really weird in what it wants to show and what it doesn't want to show. Um, I've got the submenu down below, and they all start bouncing around. And I don't know why on earth it does this. It It's really kind of annoying. And so I'm trying to do this without... Popping up the theme song again, which I'm afraid it might do here. Okay. Let's see if I can get it to stop. Nope, and it's not going to. Ah! You know, technology is wonderful until it doesn't work. I'm like, oh. Uh oh. Somebody's got. Somebody ran into Nightbot. <laughs> like I said, new moderator, be careful. Um, just this fun video, we tease each other all the time, all the time. Um, I don't know that I'll be on my Discord later today, but we will see. Um, just because of the way, you know, being on here so much. Man, it seriously is not going to let me do anything on this. Okay, let's see if that worked. Uh, hey, I think I finally... Might have gotten it to work. Okay. There we go. Oh, sometimes when this thing doesn't want to go. So let me show you my card, everybody, here. I love the way they get they do these cards now. Very cool. Uh, Tammy, there's a lot of churches around here that also have offices closed on Friday. I can't do that um, because after I am done, I'm what I call an extroverted introvert. I know that sounds weird. Um, I push myself to be an extrovert. And then afterwards, I'm like, leave me alone. Go away. I'm tired of people. Uh, so by tonight, I'm going to be ugly. Um, but... For me, Monday is a recovery day because I have pushed myself out so much on Sundays. I'm just, like, done with everything on Mondays. So I have to take Monday off. So anyways, there's this box here from Barry. I've got newspaper and brown paper. Let's see. Hi, there are a few things I picked up for you while I was at Disney and Universal. Ooh, there's a little bag. So let's see what Barry sent. I recognize this guy. He's a mean one. I should sing it right. He's a mean one. Mr. Grinch. That's cool. I have to find a place on my shelf for him. Grinchmas. Merry Christmas. Mer Happy Grinchmas. There we go. Oh, and there's a pin too. Ooh, cute. Happy holidays. And you see, I've actually cleaned up some of my pins in the back because I had a mess back there for a little bit. So I'll get that back up. I got some of them put in my book, but you can kind of see the pins I still... There we go. Those are the pins I still have to kind of get organized, is all of those. Slowly getting them there. Thank you so much, Barry. That is a cool pin, though. It really is. I love the holiday pins and stuff. That's actually a whole thing I collect is holidays and cast member pins. Let's see. Kind of glancing back over the things. Um... Oh, just blank out sometimes. Always make for good. I blank out a lot. You know what's really sad is the older you get when you... I am at that stage now where I have found myself walking into rooms and going, Why am I here? I don't know. Walking out, remembering you're halfway away and 
you know, and then stuff like the reading glasses. I never needed glasses before. And you hit about 42, 43, and all of a sudden, uh, now I see why my nose is a little peaked. Let's see. The Grinch, um, it's actually, it's a light green. It's not as dark as they usually are. I have a big LED light right here trying to shine to make sure that this lightens up a bit. Um, let me see here. I wonder if I can give a little, that gives you a little better look at, at the actual color of them, just because I'm blocking some of the light. So, but he's still a little bit more green than that. Let's see. But yeah, he definitely looks yellowish. Um, but he's green. He really is. <laughs> just not a very dark green. Let's see. That one came in just recently. Um, let me do the box from Craig. Now, for those of you who don't know, Craig is actually one of my patrons. He's the one who sent me the camera lens last time. And yesterday was going to be my big trip to try out the camera lens and no memory cards. Uh, I was so mad. <laughs> It, Craig, yeah, I totally get that. You know, get the batteries or you'll forget. I I do that all the time. Are those pins worth money? Um, some of them, yes. I mean, they're worth about what you pay for them. Uh, and, of course, Disney pins start off at about $6 and then they rapidly go up. There is a big problem with these companies putting out fake and pirated pins and stuff, which lowers the value of Sun pins. But the real ones, especially if you can prove they're real, and uh, the cast member onlys and stuff, some of them are worth a, a good amount. Um, I have one pin that I have seen being sold online for over a hundred dollars. Uh, I've seen I've got others that are rare enough that you don't really see them sold because they're not out there to be sold. Uh, the cast member exclusives, which are ones that only cast members can get. And these are a couple examples. They don't come on cards, they come in bags because this is how they sell them at Company D. You rarely see these go for sale because a cast member, when they buy these, they're buying them for themselves to keep and not give away. And so I do have a number of these in particular from when I worked. And those, if you would find people selling them, it would probably make some money. But I don't buy them for money. Um, I had one person about a year ago, um, who we just kind of glanced over the collection stuff, and they said it was probably worth about um, $1,500 to $2,000 a year, year and a half ago, and I've definitely added to it since then. So, so yes, they can be worth some money, um, but only to people who collect them. So, um, let's see. First Disney pins on Thursday. Had a friend record it for your vlog that you posted yesterday. I will need to check that out, Crazy Jill. So this is from Craig. Hi, Sir Willow. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thought I'd type this to save you from my handwriting. Being at Disneyland during the holiday season and knowing you guys haven't been there for a while inspired me to do some shopping on top of grabbing you some maps, time guides, and stuff. Ooh, this could be fun. My wife Elizabeth also helped by agreeing to share one of each of the pass holder items we both got a copy of. <gasps> Thank you, Elizabeth! And waking up early, joining me to get wristbands before rope drop for the traditional handmade candy canes. So we could have one for us and one to share with you. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. A few points of clarification in case the items aren't self-evident. So let's, I'll kind of pull some of this out and see if I can mention those along the way. Yes, you can get genuine Disney pins. You can actually buy genuine Disney pins at shopdisney.com. Um, you can buy them on the cruises, at the parks. Um, if you go to a Disney store, sometimes they will have pins. Don't buy bulk lots of pins with 25 pins for 30 bucks. They're fakes and scrappers and junk. Don't do that. Uh, but there are places online you can buy legitimate pins relatively cheap. So there is a sticker here. It says, to George, Margaret, Joseph, and Amber from Craig and Elizabeth Fly. I'll let you see the, that. I better put this out or I'm going to bury it in bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. And then there is the big candy cane. Handmade. Boy, that looks yummy. So very cool. Let's see. So that is, I want to make sure, uh, traditional handmade candy canes that Disneyland does. And then there's more in here. And he's got some more notes. So I'm trying to go through the box before I go to the notes. 
Lots of bubble wrap. Okay. <laughs> My dog over here just went. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a couple things here. What I'm going to do is they're labeled for my son and my daughter. They are not here. And then my wife actually just took my daughter to work. So I'm going to open them up for you guys so you can see them. And then I will rewrap them again for them. That work for you, Craig? Since I see that he's on here. And then there is two for me here. Got the box out of the way. So let me open up one of mine. Taste it. No, John, I'm not going to open it yet. If I open up that candy cane, I'm going to make a big mess. And then I get the mess all over my computer, and that's just horrible. <laughs> hey, Ginger, come here. Come here. Come here, puppy. Come on. Okay. Come here. There's one. Say hi. Oh, I know. You love me. Uh -huh. Yes, you do. You love me. I don't blame you. Seely. Come here, Seely. See, my dogs are going to get all excited now because they think they're getting treats. Oop, this is the one that jumped. Huh. And she's even got her Christmas sweater. <laughs> okay. Go play, you two. All right, let me see if I can get this open here. Okay, so I started to open up one for me first. So I'm going all over the place. And the streamers are from Mickey and the Magical Map. So that's going to be a bag of streamers which, from the show that is there. Ooh, a lanyard. AP lanyard goes with the two festival plastic festival cards in the black flat item bag. That is very cool. So let's see if I can hold that up. There you go. Festival of Holidays. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Ooh. Okay, so you were just asking about some of the more expensive pins. That is one that will become more expensive in time because it's a limited edition. You can get them cheap when you first get them, but then they definitely go up. So that, because there's not as many of them. And those don't get faked anywhere near as often either. And then there is another limited edition. Oh, that is neat looking. That's going to be from Disneyland's version of Halloween. Let me see if I can get that up there with the light so you can still see it. There it goes. Almost a little out of focus. There we go. So you can see see that a little bit. That's a very cool looking pin. Thank you so much, Craig. And then there's buttons here. Those I might have to keep my daughter from taking from me. Let's see. We got... That would be from Mexico. And we've got Disneyland buttons. There's a couple of those. A little different. These, okay. Very neat. You don't see the buttons as often at Walt Disney World. They're around occasionally. There's that one. Now, the little packet I said, the Tiki Juice Bar gave out those on request of Dole Whip. Never saw that combo before. Wow. So they were putting those on Dole Whip. How very cool. And then there's one more button here. There it is. And then he's also got small wood pieces of chopstick stand from the Lamplight Lounge. Picture amused me as did snapping them off the six. So you can see if I can get that up there where you can see the picture. Uh, there it is. Very cool. Thank you, Craig. And then let me open up the flat bag that goes with it. And then I'll show you the stuff they sent to my other family members. Make sure I've got everything there. I think I do. There is a California adventure map. Pocketed while in the park, but hope it pairs well with the Princess Elena of Avalor. So, thank you. And then we've got an English California adventure map. A coaster. And the Disneyland. And then times guides, which are fun. Uh, let's see. Disneyland's Festival of Holidays. So think about the Epcot one you just saw a little bit ago. And there is that. And, um, wow, this is neat. Secrets of the Force. So I've, I've heard about this kind of stuff. Um, I know there's one at Walt Disney World, too, and I haven't even had a chance to think about doing that. 
Candy Canes 2018. So, and this is actually the past solar event, and there is all the information about that. So very, very cool. That's where the big giant candy cane came from. Family activities. So this is, um, again, different stuff going on. Festival. Of, oh, this is the pass holder things. So there's the sip and savor pass. And then the rest of that, which also has all the little schedules and stuff going on with it. Helps if I hold that right side up for you. And then pass holder magnet. You know what? I need to call Disney World again because I haven't gotten my pass holder magnet still from them. I wonder what's going on with that. What's my email people are sending Christmas stuff to? Um, SirWillow at gmail.com. Oh, wait. My wife and daughter hadn't left. Come here. Come here. Sorry. Ha! Ah, happily, I didn't open this yet. That one's for you. This one's for you. I scoot over. I'm happy I waited because I almost did theirs first. Seely, shh. My dog's going crazy. Oh, These are from Disneyland. Wow. I wonder what sent him. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Look how gorgeous. And it's my favorite person, Belle. Person. Oh, keychains for your collection. That is amazing. And it opens up so like that. Okay, Dad, did you hold it up where you could actually see mm -hmm. it there? I'm trying to crouch so people can see. Um, it has an inner pouch like this. It closes up very cute, like a little, looks like a mirror, a handheld mirror. Yeah. And it says Belle on the side, and it says Beast, who is my favorite because she's the intelligent princess. So, thank yep. you. Thank you. So thoughtful. Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, Craig. And um, Isaac, you can just see what happens with Nightbot. So keep it easy. <laughs> um, let's see. Shh. Buttons are from the festival booth. Okay, very cool. Thank you so much, Craig. That neat box. Let me show you what's in Joseph's package since he's not here. Um, Tammy, um, when you first become an annual pass holder, they do have a magnet that they send you. Uh, it actually goes out with your first newsletter, which the newsletters were sent out in November, and I've called twice, and I still haven't gotten my first one. So i got to find out what was that. Uh, and this is what he sent for Joseph, which he will definitely use. It's a press coin collection book. He's got a couple small ones, but he's definitely due for another one. Oh, and he's got press pennies in there. Joseph will love that. That he will absolutely love that. So there we go. I think we got a decent angle there. You could see some of them that way. Oh. So thank you so much, Craig. That is awesome. I'm going to put that back in the bag for Joseph. Uh, he will actually be here tonight. So he'll get to see it then. Don't tell him, Amber. Actually, you, I'll see him before you will. <laughs> okay. There we go, and I've got one more box and one big envelope here. Thank you, Craig. That is awesome. That's some fun stuff with that. Okay. So I'm opening these sort of in the order they came. So I got a big box here from Barry, um, and I gotta move this stuff from Craig to make sure I don't lose any of it, because I got myself a nice mess now. <laughs> I'm good at that. Joseph is actually at his own place. Joseph does not live with us anymore. He moved out into his own apartment back in um, May. And so he comes around for holidays and weekends and stuff like that. But silly kid had to grow up. <laughs> How many pins do I have? You know, I counted, goodness, back probably um, beginning mid-year. And I was at like 250. And I've added a bunch of pins since then. So I am probably somewhere around 350, 400 ish, because people have sent me pins and I bought a bunch of pins and um, I found a wonderful place to be able to buy pins online with uh, Pinderella LLC on um, Facebook. Great group. She's she sells authentic pins straight from the parks. Great stuff in there at a great price. And so I end up spending more than I should. I have been in pin jail a couple of times. And those of you who collect pins, you'll know what pin jail is. <laughs> 
Sorry, Ryan, this, you're going to miss the backstage stream. Yeah, it, I definitely, I have that one limited because I'm going to be sharing secrets that Disney may not necessarily want you to know. And so uh, it's going to get archived. My patrons will be able to watch it later, but it's not going to be available for public viewing just because I don't want to make a habit of telling those stories and cross the lines. But I thought it would be fun for Christmas to be able to tell some of the stories that I've hinted at but have never really told before. So kind of a Christmas present for those who can make it online. So let's see here. We've got newspaper. Oh, and he's actually got wrapped presents here. Ooh, and since everybody else just left. So Barry, I may actually put some of these under the tree and I may film them opening them later. We've got a card and then a present for me. And I think that's what I will probably do. Let's see. Let me see what, what we got. It looks like Sir Willow, Sir Willow. Depending upon who all they are for. Looks like a whole bunch of things. To Sir Willow. Ah, well, they might all be for me. Let's see. Looks like all, yep, all my name. Okay. Well, in that case, I can open them all now. Let me start off with the card. Will the Behind the Stage be available for all who can watch it live? Yes, anybody who is live can watch the Behind the Stage one. Um, but you have to be here for it live. So it will start approximately... Um, wow, I'm already running late. Okay, so I'm going to have to... i got to move this along quickly. I'm hoping to start it in about 30 minutes. But let me zip through this really quick so I can get there and then get myself a little break. Rule the holidays like the boss you are. And make it legendary. Happy holidays. Enjoy the gifts. Thank you so much, Barry. What holiday? What Disney park? Okay, I have been to Disneyland Paris last March. I've got videos up on that. It is absolutely amazing. So right now, uh, Shanghai or Tokyo would be top of my list. Let's see. Would it be beneficial to get the Coast to Coast Pass? I don't know, Eric. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, I honestly haven't looked, but... Uh, I don't know if my annual passes will still be good for that or not for Disney World. Oh, it exterminate. It's a Dalek. Those of you who are Doctor Who, you will know Doctor Who fans will know exactly what that is. Ornaments here. Very cool. Live long and prosper. <laughs> These are awesome. Like I said, I'm trying to rush through this here so I can get ready for the other one. Darth Vader. Very cool. It'll go right along with the Darth Vader head I got sitting back here. I hate rushing through this. But... Oh, that's very cool. There's another ornament. He's going to make me redo a whole new tree. So there's Ray. Oh, no, that's kind of cool. A Fantasia car. Oh. Have I been on a Disney cruise? I have been on the boat for about six hours. That's about as close as I got. <laughs> Just... <laughs> um, no, my Walt Disney World Pass is only good for Disney World, not for Disneyland. Although I, I do need to check when I'm there to see if I can upgrade it. I hadn't even thought. Oh, oh. Okay, this is a cool shirt. This is a cool shirt. Don't blink! Again, if you're a Doctor Who fan, you will totally get that reference. Ah, oh, neat, 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 neat. My daughter's going to be jealous of that shirt. It's mine. <laughs> One more shirt here. Thank you so much, Barry. These are awesome. I've still got another envelope i got to get open to. Stark Industries! Okay, Marvel fans will get that one. Ah, thank you so much, Barry. Those are awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Let me try and get this last one in. This is from Judy uh, Polzinski in Pennsylvania. That shirt's terrifying. <laughs> we got a little, uh, when I pulled the angel out for our tree, my daughter and I both went, don't blink. And Judy sent me a very nice letter here. Merry Christmas to you. I hope you enjoy this gift designed by Mike Gallagher and me. 
What's that? Mike has been dead for two years. That may be true, but Mike has inspired me since the day I met him in May 2009. I believe his inspiration will continue ind indefinitely. Mike was a friend of mine from uh, Coaster Clubs. Neat guy, and I miss him terribly. Um, I do have a picture here of him that I want to show you guys while I read this. Is I f There it is. Uh, if I can pull it up. I keep scrolling right past it. Where'd you go? There he is. So let me see if I can get this picture to show on there. Um, and it's going to be really... Okay. Let me get this thing. Do, 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 do. Give me one second, everybody. And there we go. That is Mike. I'll just kind of put him up in the corner. Each year, Mike would make a conscious effort to set aside money to be used to purchase a calendar with roller coaster photos. When the calendars were published in catalogs, Mike would intently study each offering, narrowing down his choices until his final selection was due. He always complained that he could never quite get a perfect calendar, one where he had actually ridden all 12 of the coasters showcased. About a year before Mike died, I used Shutterfly to make a coaster calendar for him. He had ridden all the 12 coasters listed, but they were my favorites, not his. You see, I did not want to ask him for a list so, or he would know I was up to something. Mike's nickname for me was KIA, stands for Know-It-All. So this calendar was titled Kia's Favorite Calendars. He was thrilled that his beloved El Toro made my number one spot at the time. Each month when he would flip the calendar, Mike would call me to discuss that month's featured co coaster. I will always treasure the memories of those phone calls. And so there is a, roller, a calendar there with Coasting Through 2019. Oh. Mike was a neat guy. I met him through an on-site uh, roller coaster forum called URC, Ultimate Roller Coaster. And I met him in person at uh, Magic Mountain one time and then at Bush Gardens after we moved to Florida. And just a really neat guy. And he died a couple years ago from cancer. And it just a, a huge loss. But I'll give you a, a look at the calendar here and you can see some of the pictures and... And just very pretty artwork. But I, I, I miss Mike. Thank you so much, Judy. I, I really appreciate that. That's awesome. And that'll go up on my office wall at church. So thank you. Thank you too, to everybody tuning in. I'm going to take a quick break here. I've got about 25 minutes. I hope that's okay. Give me a chance to clean up a little bit. Uh, Lion Blade, thank you so much for the email card. Um, I will have to check it a little bit later because I want to get ready for the next live stream, which will be the backstage stuff. So thank you so much for everybody. Um, it, who, if I can invite any Chris Disney character, uh, Crazy Chill, send me that as a Facebook question. I can add that on. Um, all the, And yes, thank you to all the people who are working this holiday season, whether it's the military, emergency service responders, um, there's a lot of people who don't get to spend the holiday with their family because they're out sacrificing for the rest of us. So I do very much appreciate that. Thank you, Gordon, for the reminder on that. Thank you for joining me, everybody. Thank you for the incredible blessings and the mail and the packages from Barry and Judy and Craig and um, everybody else. I, I am blessed with you all. You really do bless me. And looking forward to being back on here in about 20, 25 minutes with backstage stories and stuff you've never heard from me before. Ooh. If you want to know whenever I have a new video out, well, hey, make sure you hit that button right there and subscribe. If you want to see another video right now, well, I've got a great one right here for you. And if you want to be like these wonderful people here and help support me financially on Patreon, well, check out that link right there and it'll take you to it. Thanks so much and God bless.